Since the Revolutionary War, black patriots have fought alongside their fellow countrymen, defending our nation's ideals, even as some of those ideals continuously denied them equal rights. This is the story of the 555th Parachute Infantry Battalion, the Triple Nickels, who were the first all-black parachute unit in U.S. military history. Organized late in World War II, the Triple Nickels trained at Fort Benning, Georgia, and were eager to fight the Germans. But with the Axis armies in retreat, the unit was given a different, top-secret mission, codenamed Operation Firefly. They were sent to the Pacific Northwest, destination Pendleton, Oregon. There they were greeted by the U.S. Forest Service, and only then did they learn what most Americans were unaware of. The Japanese had been launching balloon bombs across the Pacific Ocean that were landing and exploding along the West Coast. Their general orders then, that they didn't know they had general orders for there, read the destruction of Japanese balloon bombs and the suppression of wildfires. Bob Bartlett is a retired professor and army veteran. He spent seven years researching the Triple Nickels. They didn't know whether the fire was lightning or careless campers or, or a balloon bomb. So when the fire call came, they just knew, get on, we're going. The battalion became smoke jumpers, parachuting into densely wooded terrain, fighting fires and destroying enemy bombs. Their mission had become critical. Just days before the unit arrived, six people were killed by a balloon bomb near Bly, Oregon in Klamath County. Between 1944 and 1945, the Japanese military launched more than 9,000 of these bombs into the atmosphere. By the end of the 1945 fire season, the unit had been part of 36 fire missions with more than 1,200 individual jumps. But despite their bravery, the Triple Nickels, like other black service members, faced discrimination in their own country. Think of yourself. You're black, you're in the army, you want to serve your country, and you're told to sit in the back of the bus. You know, they were stationed places where there were prisoners of war, German prisoners of war that were treated better than they were. Throughout their service, they risked their lives for a nation that treated them as second-class citizens, simply because they were black. How do you put on your parachute and your gear to go jump and save lives and there are people that don't like you? <laughs> they don't, you, you can't even have a cup of coffee. They jumped into the fires of racism, blatant racism at the same time they were literally jumping into fire. Due to the hard work of Professor Bartlett and others, the story of the Triple Nickels lives on, and a gesture of honor now officially marks their service on Main Street in Pendleton, recognizing the first all-black paratrooper battalion in American history, a group of men willing to defend our freedom, even as many continue to deny them theirs. <laughs>